Hi, I am Antonio. I I am from Spain. I am I was born in Ibiza, a tiny island in front of Valencia and Barcelona, in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. I am a native Catalan speaker and Spanish as well, and I also speak English and, and Italian in addition. I am currently studying Arabic. Soy Sebastián Domínguez Jubran. Soy dominicano, pero vivo en Puerto Rico de hace 10 años. Eh, hablo inglés también y español. Y es un placer estar con Bajador. Y pues, como lo digo, uh, lo sigo de hace bastantes años, así que espero que sea de gran agrado. I'm glad to be here also, eh, Bajador. Hey, saludos, soy Sergio, soy de los Estados Unidos, pero mis papás son de México. Uh, estudié lingüística en la universidad y he estudiado varios idiomas. Uh, hablo inglés, español y tengo varios niveles de habilidad en francés, el alemán y el mandarín. Uh, estoy muy emocionado por poder, poder participar en uno de los videos de Bajador uh, porque he sido fan por, por muchos años, desde que antes que tuvieran los, uh, las reuniones de Zoom. Uh, pero sí, gracias. Perfect. Thank you so much. I think this is going to be very interesting. And uh, just to explain for the audience, we have uh, some texts that uh, Antonio is going to read. And, uh, you know, you guys listen and see what you can figure out. Okay. So okay. whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and read the first one. Okay, so guys, ya son las vuit del vespre. Els garrits han sortit de l'escola i els seus pares de la feina. Tu toma su pat i està ficat dins el llit. Es una nit d'un dijous d'hivern. I got bits. <laughs> Can you please repeat it again? Okay. Ja són les vuit del vespre. First sentence. Els garrits han sortit de l'escola i els seus pares de la feina. Tothom ha sopat i està ficat dins del llit. És una nit d'un dijous d'hivern. I all un, un, understand escola. It's cool. Um, oh, I, sure. Okay. I mean, I heard something about it's right. some uh, specific time in the evening. Okay, right? yeah, in the evening. Okay. And then something about either, it's either dinner or like soup. I don't know if it's soup or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, so we have like a lot of stuff going on here. So, yeah, <laughs> and something about kids leaving the school, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, the first sentence, ya son las vuit del vespre. vespre. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's already it's, some it's... number in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, vuit. eight? Oh, no, no. Vuit. Is it eight? Okay. Yes. L like, wheat in French? <laughs> ya son las vuit del, del vespre will mean, like, it's, like, um 20 p.m. It's already 20 p.m., like, oh. afternoon. The eight. 8, 8 p.m. So okay. Okay. Gotcha. So let's continue. As garrits and sortit, sortit oh. yeah. de, lesco, de la escola. De la escola. Yeah. Okay. I, I got everything except one word there. I know it's got from the word school. I got that. And I think it will be like, um, after the kids back to the to the to their home they're going to the to have the dinner or something like that okay Most so as garrit garrit will be like the kids garrit yeah. like garrido in spanish it will be like una criatura like un niño yeah that's the word i didn't understand i figured it was kids because of school but yeah. <laughs> then escola will be obviously like school he and seus pares oh i know that word yeah. their parents yeah okay yeah and sortit de la feina feina so the kids need to wait to their parents go to back to the no no their no. kids like Oh, okay. Um, their parents have left. Is it work? Is that work? Yes. Like faena? Like you guys See? say faena? Yeah. Just okay. like that. Just like that. Faena. Okay. faena. That's like a Spain thing though. Because, yeah. TV. It's just a land word. It's just a land word. 
Well, it's they left school, isn't it? Like on sortit, like sortir in French, right? Sortir will be like leave or go down. Yeah, like sortir, I think in French. Okay. So we have that the kids and their parents have come home, okay? They have got out of uh, school and work. And then tut, tutom, totom, a sopat, a sopat. What will be tutom? Yeah. What will tutom be like? It's a one word or two it's words? It's like the a mix between two words, tot, om. But it makes sense, you know, like yeah. it's like a, a like a saying, like some yeah. expression to talk. A collocation of sorts. Yeah. Mm. I, I feel like the, the closest thing in Spanish would be todo el mundo. Something like that. But like, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's like everyone had dinner, right? Yeah. Yes. Tu, 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 it's like tous les hommes in French, right? So, um, and then soupe, which is, I think they, they use it in Canada. I don't think they even use it in France. Soupe. So, which is to like eat dinner, right? Yes. But okay. fr it's French. Spanish didn't help me here. <laughs> okay. Sopa, like have dinner because of the soup. Yeah. Sopa. Yeah. Uh, soup for dinner. See, it's like dinner. Tu tomas sopa y está ficat dins del jeep. Just a Okay. I didn't. There are two words before just a ficat, right? I está ficat. Dins del jeep. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I got it. I just didn't get that last word. Z. Can you use another sentence with Z so, in it to maybe like. With Z? Yeah. Um, he comprado un jeep. Okay. Amb dos but... cuchins. Amb dos cuchins. Y un uh, matalas. Molto. Oh, that's French. Matalas. Okay. Yeah. So it has to be. Oh, it's not bed, is it? Oh, okay. Because he oh, said mattress in French. Matelas. Well, not in French, in Catalan. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. Oh, because it's double L. Huh. It's yeet. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, you guys messed me up with your double Ls because I don't hear them that well. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gracious. Yeah. No, no, like my brain can't distinguish, like, I don't distinguish a double L from L very well. Yes, that that mean, so you're in bed already? Yes, what... you're in bed. So you make yourself in bed, like yes, you like prepare yourself and you get into the bed. Okay, so I will uh, say out loud the whole sentence. Ya son las vuit del vespre. Els garrits han sortit de l'escola i els seus pares de la feina. Tu toma su pat i està ficat dins del llit. És una nit d'un dijous d'hivern. It's a something from something. <laughs> uh, could you say that last sentence one more time? Es una nit d'un dijous d'hivern. I got that. It's similar oh. in French, the, the, like the, the la nuit, uh, the night. Yes, okay. Una nit. Uh -huh. Oh, what, una, what I, the, I parsed the last... it incorrectly. <laughs> okay, Can you yeah. say it again? The last word. Hivern. Yeah. Oh, winter. okay. Yeah, winter. Hiver. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so it's a winter night. Okay, or, but uh, we gotta winter night. We gotta guess the day. The Say dijous the day. Es una nit d'un dijous d'hivern. Dijous. Dijous. Jueves. Um, Thursday. Oh, jeudi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jovi or whatever. A Thursday yeah. night of winter. A Thursday what? night of winter. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's, so it's winter. Yeah. That's pretty hard. Do, do you want to do the, like the translation now? Oh, like, yeah. That'd be cool. Okay. Maybe say it in Spanish and, and see. Uh... So, eh, ya son las ocho de la tarde. Los niños han salido de la escuela y sus padres del trabajo o del curro, que se diría en español. Yeah. Todo el mundo ha cenado y está metido dentro de la cama. Es una noche de un jueves de invierno. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
That makes total sense. So, més que mentre estava cuinant amb la paella per dinar, es cremar el pit i les cames. Està enfabat. Sabat. Uh, Saturday. No? Saturday. Ah, no, ah, no. Ah. No, okay. I heard something else. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the first one will be like a, a really Catalan expression, especially from my from my island, from Ibiza. Mesquí. We have like the same word in Spanish as well, but oh. it has like a different meaning. It's okay. Is it is it mesquino? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Which is an Arabic word, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so <laughs> mientras estaba cuinan am la paella per dinar. Okay. I need that again. <laughs> mientras estaba cuinan am la paella per dinar. Well, a paella is also the 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 the, the olla thing, the the sartén that it's in, right? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. It's a girl. Um, okay. estaba something with the finished. He was cooking, with, right? So, mientras oh, estaba cuinan, when she was, when she was, or when he or she was, um, cocinando, um, cooking, right? Cooking. Yeah. Yeah. He was cooking in um, the paella for. Well, it was like termina or something like that, right? Like mientras estaba cuinan am la paella. But paella will be like the frying pan. I mean, mm. the rice dish is called like that because of after the, yeah, the frying pan. Per dinar, so we we talk about supa, and right now we are talking about dinar. Meal. It's no. not like it's not like lunch, right? Like dinner. Like okay, I feel like I would know that more from French than from Spanish. Again. <laughs> okay, so it's lunch. You were right. Mm. Oh, okay, so but I think it's because you guys use like the old words, the older French, like the non European French words for like the meals, <laughs> like dîner, souper, or something. But don't ask me, I'm not a French expert, so <laughs> nobody, get mad, nobody get mad in the comments. <laughs> okay, so after doing this, es crema, crema, el pit y las camas. Cremar, crema. To burn. Or it's a similar word in Spanish, cremar, which is burn the body, burn body. Like cremate. a corpse. But I think, yeah, to cremate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think in Catalan word, cremar, it's not the kind that we use in Spanish, of course. Would be more like when you burn yourself for, for in something like, hmm. I will Less use... Cremar. My faith reside and use my logic. If you're cooking, I know yeah. could be your arms, your face, um, your chest. Oh, it's chest, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, because of peito in yeah. Portuguese. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's the word is chest. The chest. Uh, yeah, it is chest. Pecho, but like the the it was a sound change. Yeah, so it's like Pecho or something in in Portuguese. It's not Pito in Spanish. No, no, no. I think you should edit that out. So for now we have he was cooking in the fire pan, and he mm -hmm. burned his chest. Las okay. Camas, camas, camas. And what else? Las camas. Las camas. It's not bad. It's not bad. No. Do you want me to like say an example with that word? Yeah, that would be nice because yeah, sure. that worked with the other one. <laughs> okay. It work. So, Leo Messi de un bon parell de camas. Oh, is it? Mr. Um, Messi. Is it like thighs or like legs? Legs, yes. Jambon, not jambon. That's that's ham. Jam, jam, jam. Yeah, les jambes, right? Your um legs. Mm -hmm. The whole uh, legs. Okay. Oh, okay. Las camas. <laughs> That sounds so funny. <laughs> it's kind of like gambas, right? Gambas, I think. <laughs> Gamba in Italian. Yes. Yeah. You really have to search the whole romance family to like help you with this. <laughs> you got to recruit every language. <laughs> step by step. I'm going to say the, the last sentence. 
Està enfadat. Està enfadat. Enfadat, enfadat. He was angry. No, no, it's no. with a B. Enfadat, enfadat, right? Enfadat, enfadat. Enfadat, enfadat. You V. With a with a V. Enfadat. Enfadat. Do you guys say, for example, in Latin America, empanado? I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I use the, the logic empanado, it's similar to the what? word empanada, which is a food, a kind of pastry, which is fried. I don't know if it has something similar like that. Okay. No, no, no. no. We are going <laughs> to... It has to be, it's metaphorical in some way, right? I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like, okay. So, enfabat means like, it's like beanie. You are being beanie. Estás como con habas en la cabeza. Oh, are... what? It's a long word, okay. That's right. Oh, like fava, ava, una ava, right? Ava, sí. Yeah, ava. a fava bean. <laughs> so a you're fava. Like, fava bean? Ava. It's ava. like, so you're, you're not like... paying attention. You are really <sighs> slow, like, you are uh, sluggish. That's, yeah, I have no idea what, wow, okay. Pobrecito. Mientras estaba cocinando con la sartén para, co para almorzar, se quemó el pecho y las piernas. Está empanado. I don't know what do you like guys say in Latin America for someone that is I mean, not paying attention. Like, I don't know. Like, like bobo. I don't know. Um, sí, like, está bobo, sí. Um, okay. Bobo. I can't um, think of anything else. In Puerto Rico, uh, we said ido. Like, he's yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. so he paying attention to the other word, like, uh, you are here and there, or something like that, but... <laughs> You are not here. Pay attention. Yeah. O estás en la luna. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Estás en, like yeah. en, en las nubes, I would say. So, poor little thing. Hmm. Poor, uh, poor little thing. Pobrecito. He burned herself cooking with a fire pan. The sh he burned the chest. And yes, he was... Yeah. In, because he was... Uh, not paying attention, yes. No pay, for not paying atte um, attention. Okay. So I think that we are ready for the third one. Yes. Okay, yeah. here uh, we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to like read the, the whole sentence and then we will go like step by step. <laughs> so, vindràs amb nosaltres ara, oi? Hem de, només hem d'anar a la botiga i, com i comprar menjar per a la festa. Pa, vi, pomes i formatge. La festa será la playa, sobre la zorra. Yes, we should do okay. sentence by sentence, or should... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Vindrás amb nosaltres ara, oi? So, I'm writing it down. Oh, so you will come to our something? Or you will now? Come? Now, Okay. Right? Okay, yeah. ara. You will, you will come to ours today, or now, right? Vindrás a nosaltres ara, right? Am nosaltres? Am... Nosotros. Nos... Oh, okay, am nosaltres. Am nosaltres. With us. Am nosaltres. Okay, okay fine. With. <laughs> okay, with, with us. us. Hoy. Hoy. Okay, so. There. Hoy is like. Oil. Like there? <laughs> no, it's like. To mark at a question. Like. Right? Oh, no? like a question marker. Or like a discourse yes. marker. Or sort. Oh, okay. okay. Numes. So it's like you'll come with us. Uh, you'll come with us now, right? Like that. Mm. Okay. Just like that. Numes em dana a la botiga. You guys in Latin America have like a really similar expression. Numes em dana yeah, a la botiga. Yeah, I use that. <laughs> so numes one more time. Numes something. Numes em danar dana a la botiga. Oh, okay. A la botiga. I think I got it, pero Sebastián, si tú quieres intentar primero. Botiga. Uh, boutique. Mm. Uh, store. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. Mm. You guys, one so, question. So... Do you people in the Caribbean like Dominicans, Boricuas, and Cubans say like bodega, like any kind of a store? 
would be like uh, a bodega? Or? In the Dominican Republic, we, we, we use the word colmado, but the Dominicans in the States use bodega. Okay. Yeah, because so, in New York, they call it a bodega. Yeah. And I think I just got from the word of Pom, which is Apple. I think he's doing the um uh the list from yeah. okay. I think so too. Oh yeah, should we should we translate the sentence? Okay, so right. no messam la butiga. Yeah, because I got everything except one word there. Which one? The na. Anar. Oh anar. Okay. Anar. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> Another. Uh, we have like a word in Spanish, but it has a different meaning. Anar. Anar. Okay, it's a verb. So, numes em danar. I'm trying to think of what you, you, I mean, it would have to be shop or something, right? Because it's talking about we're only something at the store. Em danar. Mm. I have, like, um, I think um is either I am or I have, right? We have, like, we have. emos. Oh, okay. Nomás, 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 um, nomás. It's uh, some are two words or one word. Oh, it's like in Spanish, nomás, like in Mexican Spanish. Oh, okay. Nomás, like nomás. Okay. Like nomás, nomás algo en no la more. tienda. Or, or whatever sí, you guys say. Correct. Right. No más hemos something in la tienda. Yes. What's the supposed oh. like Spanish word? Like en that or and something? That. Oh, and that. And oh, that. my God. Really? Jesus. We have the D in the middle of the word. That's so and funny. That. Like, we can guess all these other obscure words, but we can't guess on that to save our lives. Yes, that. <laughs> and that is. And that. Okay, so go. Okay. Well, no mess in the nar. No more. Yeah, no mess is no no mess like ah no mess fuimos right no mess fuimos a la tienda or solo fuimos a la tienda right. No mess tenemos que ir. Tenemos que ir. Ah, just to go. Oh um oh tener que ir oh never mind okay we have to go gotcha so we only have to go to the store. Okay. Got it. Okay. No me sam dana la botiga i comprar menjar per a la festa. Pa, bread, vi, pomes i formatge. Okay, yeah. So I got uh, what's that? What's before pomes? For... Pomes before. Apple. No, before. Ah, vi. Vi. Vi a uh, grape. No, okay. Grape. Hey, just the, the word bid. Can I guess? Or quieres adivinar tú, Sebastián, o quieres que yo adivine? Yeah, because yeah, for sure. I, I think right. they just want to go to the store to buy. Um, how do you say cesta in English? It's no, it's festa, right? Isn't it festa? Festa, festa. Yeah. With an F. Yeah. Okay. No está hablando de un cesto. No está hablando okay. de un cesto. Yeah. Just to buy, just, just, just to go to go to the store to buy. Apples, bre uh, bread, and formage, okay. I think it's cheese, right? Cheese. Formaggia will be cheese. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, so. I got, and, and go um, buy food for the party, um, bread, wine, apples, and cheese. Perfect. <gasps> You're right. Like, Bing. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Manja will be, like, food. Like, Manja. some food yeah. and also, like, to... Manjar, we say manjar too, right? In mm, we say manjar. manjar. Yeah. Manjar, it's like a del a food, but with some kind of delic yeah. uh, delicacy. Uh, delicacy. Like, yeah, it's like like, yeah. like something, yeah. some haute cuisine oh, or something. <laughs> I don't know the word because I know in Italian is mangiare. Mangiare, yeah. Mangiare, yes. I know that, but wow. <laughs> you have guessed the shopping list, okay? And now the last sentence. La festa será a la playa, sobre la zorra. Yeah. Playa is beach. Yeah, okay. so the party will be on the beach over the, a word that I'm guessing is not fox. <laughs> no, it's not a, the animal. Yeah. Zorra. I mean, you gotta guess it because of the context. Because it's not sand, is it? 
It is, is it like sand, sa indeed. sable in French? No. Sable? It is sand, indeed. Yeah. Vendrás con nosotros ahora, ¿no? Solo tenemos que ir a, a la tienda y comprar comida para la fiesta. Pan, vino, manzanas y queso. La fiesta, la fiesta será en la playa, sobre la arena. There it is. <laughs> so we have like the, the toughest part, the most difficult part. We have like a little paragraph here prepared for you guys. Oh, let me get a new page for that, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's go with the last part. La Montserrat té un can negre a que seua, que es diu Pep. Li agraden els passejos i jugar amb pilotes. És molt bo, però mai escolta la Montserrat i sempre està brut. La Montserrat també estima el seu gat taronja, un regal de la seva cocina i el seu ocell, ocell blau, que viu al petit arbre al costat de la porta. Vosaltres també teniu mascotes? All right, we're, obviously we're going to do sentence by sentence, right? But... La Montserrat té un ca negre a ca seua, que es diu Pep. Okay, I'm going to need a few more repetitions of that, friend. <laughs> La Montserrat té un ca negre. Oh, okay, yeah, keep going. Uh -huh. A ca seua. Casdiu Pep. Casdiu Pep. So, a Montserrat te un ca negre. Okay, what's after un ca negre? Un ca negre. After that? A ca seua. Ca seua? Uh -huh. Like three different words. A okay. ca seua o seva. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It depends on the dialect. Uh -huh. Pep. Okay. Um, Montserrat has a black dog. Okay, ka. Uh, and sev. I don't know what sewa is. Seva. Uh, seva. Something dog something and then. For example. Um, oh. Something gave. Gave. Wait, Pep like Giuseppe. Like, are you talking about Pep, like the name? Okay. Té un ca negre a ca seua que es diu Pep. Es diu Pep. Oh, it's one word. No, no. Es diu oh. Pep. Es diu Pep. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that, um... Is it somebody named Giuseppe gave them that dog? Is that what? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, so, um, I don't know if it's... Okay, so Montserrat has a black dog... Her dog's is called Pep. Okay. Is that right or wrong? But like at her place, at her home, a casewa, en su casa. Oh, oh, that, okay, I've messed that up here. Okay. So, en su casa. All so right. now, the next Maybe. part. Okay. Le agradan els passejos y jugar amb pilotas. Oh, that one's easier. Yeah. yeah. So the dog likes uh walk. Uh, he likes walks. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat it again? Y juga am pilotas. Juga o juga. Okay. And play the balls. Something. Yeah, play with balls. Yeah. Okay. Play with balls. Jugar las pelotas. Con pelotas. Con, yeah, con am pelotas. is con, right? A M B. Yeah. That's like the um, one of the ten Catalan words I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. You got. Ole ole. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the, the pronunciation of la J in Catalan is the same as English G. Yeah. J. We don't have the yeah. you know that like the hard Spanish sound of J like jamón monja. Sí doesn't appear in Catalan phonology. We say, like, normally when we say a J, like a J, it will be like Ju or something like that. Yes. Ju. Allora. Es molt bo, pero mai escolta a la Montserrat y sempre està brut. So it's, it's very something, but something escort always... Oh, es something escorts Montserrat. No. And oh no. We have a, a false friend. 
Escolta, okay. Escolta. Mm -hmm. Of course, some of them, or to someone. But it's no. a false friend, right? He said. It's a false friend. <clears throat> it is like a really basic verb. Okay, so the dog. The yes, ball. Yeah, so it's very something. I don't know what ball means. Bo or dulen. You can be, uh, for example, um, dulen. Um, la poma del meu camp està molt bona. Oh, it's good. Yeah, yes. yeah. Bo, okay, gotcha. So it's very, so it's very good. It's a very good dog, right? But. Something, something. Okay. My escolta, escolta, Montserrat, siempre está brut. Okay. So, wait, escolta. So, escolta is the mystery word, I think, right? <laughs> like the key mystery word here. But verbs, Montserrat, and is always brut. And I don't know if you mean by brut, like the way, like, I don't know if it's like. In the Spanish word, uh, it's like a like, false, false friend, right? Is that but one of false friends? Yeah, I'm being. It's not the dog. It's just stupid. <laughs> no, because brut, because bruto can mean like other things too. Like, because uh, I feel like I'm trying to think of like in English. Like it might be like, like rough maybe. Like, no, not a rough. No. No. Okay. In Catalan is not that way. I mean, it's a dog. Dogs are normally that way. They are not. Okay, my mm -hmm. escolta. I think. I got the la word, the last word. Well, if if the dog is playing with the balls, sometimes, and I know for from, from experience because I had a dog, <laughs> she always um got dirty with this whatever the kind. You're right. The word brut, uh, brut is dirty. Yes. Oh wow. So I don't think any language would help me that <laughs> with that. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, sometimes you, you need to, to use the logic of the sentences to cut the word. I don't do. Yeah, I, unfortunately, <laughs> I don't do that as much. I, I, I rely heavily on my prior knowledge. <laughs> um, got it. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, that's but ascolta, ascolta, like, that's the... I'm trying ascolta. to think. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with the escolta. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Oh, Listen. E ecute, right? Yeah, escuchar. Or ascoltare. Oh, auscultar, right? <laughs> to auscultate, the auscultation. Okay, dang. Well, it's all there. <laughs> all right. That makes okay. a lot of sense. <laughs> so. So he's very... said... Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? So... I was just going to confirm. Is it so? It's the, it's very it's a very good dog, but uh, uh, he, he, listens, he listens to Montserrat. Oh, um, he does doesn't my okay okay so my. does not listen to Montserrat and is always dirty. No, but my will be like never. Oh, like, jamais, huh? right? Hamas, okay. yeah. Uh, okay, Hamas escucha su Montserrat y siempre está sucio. Okay. All right, I guess we can keep going unless someone else has a comment. La Montserrat també estima el seu gat taronja, un regal de la seva cocina. Okay, I got a lot of that. So, uh, Mons, uh, could you say it one more time? La Montserrat també estima mm -hmm. el seu gat taronja. El seu gat taronja, okay. Un regal de la seva cocina. Un regal the something. The the what? Un regal the what? Seva cocina. Cocina. Se cortó. No escuché. <laughs> okay. Un regal de la seva cocina. Oh, okay. I think I got it, but... Sebastián. La cocina. Yeah, I got it too. It took me a second. La cousin, la cousin. Yeah. So the cat is a gift from his cousin. Lady cousin. cousin. Yeah, the lady. Like a lady, a female yeah. cousin. Yeah. I don't want to write this but there's a, something in the beginning that we're missing, though. We have something at the beginning. La Monserrat también estima el su gat taronja. 
Yeah. We were speaking before about toronjas, but I mean, it's still, but we are orange. not. Okay. Like that is orange. Okay. okay. That's what you see. Yeah. So, like, Montserrat also cares about or esteems, estima her her orange cat, a gift from her cousin, right? Okay. But in Catalan, estimar will be like to love, like. Oh, okay. Loves. Okay. I love you, like to esteem. Estimar. Right, right. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> okay. So, estima. So, what are you going to say? Yes, so, you say blau. Okay. Blau, blue. A blue what? Say, oh, it's a blue sky. Yeah, I know that part, right? Blue no. sky? No? Oh, wait, so you say so or say? Or say. Oh, never mind. Okay, the, I'm going to have to hear it again. So, the, the you say it's blue. Okay, but what is an... It's, a, it's an animal. or okay, an, which one? Yeah, I, I don't know. There, there are so many animals. <clears throat> okay. I have okay. to hear the whole sentence again, I think, yeah. Yes, so... Yeah. Say blau, que viu al petit arbre al costat de la porta. Al petit arbre al costat del porta. I got that, I think. Also, what? Also, also something? The beginning of the sentence? I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so, Montserrat estima el seu gat, ti, 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 ti. I el seu ocell blau, un ocell, maybe in French. Oh, okay. Ursay va blau. Uh -huh. what, what about after blau? Que viu al petit arbre al costat de la porta. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, and it's not a re, it's not a living animal, right? It's like a, is it, is it? Okay, never mind. Okay, ignore it. Because yeah. I'm thinking another, another thing. Yeah. What word are you thinking about? Oh, I was thinking Latin... the word bear, but I don't think it's the word bear, right? In Latin. No, it's like bear. In Latin, what you said? In Latin, in the Latin language, um, auxelus, which is little bird. I don't okay. know if you have it's similar, but mm. oh, that would a, make sense, huh? And, yeah. and, and especially, of course, um, it's a it's aves or pájaro. But if if I get from the Latin auxelus, little bird, we are talking about. A blue little a blue bird or little bird? A blue bird. A blue bird, right? Blue bird. Yeah. Blue bird. Okay. Yeah. And that bird view. Mm -hmm. View on al petit arbre al costat de la porta. From the door. Okay. Oh and al costat. Al petit arbre al costat. Al costat. Petit. Do you say petit? Petit, petit mm. arbre. Petit. Little. Okay, yes. Petit what? Arbre. Arbre. The construction. Yeah. <laughs> so the bluebird lives in front of the door on a tree. Mm. No. But... You al petit arbre. Al costat de la porta. Okay, well, I, so, so her bluebird, um, I don't know if view is like to be seen or like to live. View, like to live. View. To live, so lives um, on a little tree to the side, on this, to the side of the door yeah. or besides yeah. the door. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we have the, the final one. Vosaltres també tenim mascotes? Oh, that one's easy, yeah. Pets, mascotes, pets. Ok, vosaltres <clears throat> també teniu mascotes? Also, you have uh, pets. Ok. That's uh, it, just, yeah. That's it, right? It's just, vosaltres yeah. també teniu mascotes, right? Yes, like, do you, like, do you guys uh, have also pets have as pets. well? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ole. Was it easy or difficult or? Uh, without it having without having a written 
any written help, it was a bit hard because I feel like all the times I've been exposed to Catalan, it's been like, there's either some sort of something written or it's like a song and you can look at the lyrics. Um, but yeah, I got, I think it's the usual amount of Catalan that I understand, which is like in, in, in quick speech, I get like bits, but upon repetition, I can tease out kind of the sound mm -hmm. changes. And I feel like I rely a lot on the French for sure. Um, I feel like French, but I think together they work really well together. The Spanish and the French helps you a lot together. It's like a little superpower right there. So, um, but yeah, it, it was like, yeah, like pretty challenging, but, um, not, it's not, it, it's not a big leap to kind of, to understand if that makes sense. Maybe like sentence by sentence, it was like much easier to unravel and see oh, yeah. like everything, but maybe if you were like in the streets of Barcelona, yeah. or my island, it will be like really difficult. But yeah. then you see like I get, um, bits. the paragraph get... and it's really easy to, to read it. Oh I mean, yeah. It's really curious because it happens like the same to me with French. Like listening to French is like really tough, like an ordeal, but then reading French is, it's not that hard. It's not difficult. I mean, it's yeah. not challenging. Yeah. I think the Catalan language is similar to Occitan in South France, right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. D definitely. Yeah. So every time that I hear like Occitan poetry or music or like Occitan stuff, for me, I have like, I, I am cheating because I know Catalan. So. Yeah. You'll know a lot of it. <laughs> um, I think somebody from Latin America who has pretty much zero exposure to any other language would have a much harder time. Like if we got my dad to come in right now to try and understand, he'd probably only get bits and pieces. So a lot of it is that combination of exposure as well. So I think, yeah, I feel, I have a feeling people in the comments are going to be like, you should not have used people who know these things, but whatever, you know, I, <laughs> I still think you would have, you will have, you, you, it's still fairly comparable, I'd say, because a lot of the things I got, I probably would have gotten even if I didn't have and and absolutely that, like that's the that, training. That's a really good point because what I what I want to demonstrate is what you can understand if you just hear it. I mean, okay, like if you have some knowledge of other languages, um, you're not like a fluent French, like you're not a like native French speaker, right? Like it's yeah, it's, I'm not. <laughs> so, so what? Every like everybody's heard like little bits of other languages and knows. Yeah. <laughs> So we're like, you know, the, for, for these things, like people, if they're going to complain, they're going to complain. <laughs> right, it doesn't yeah. matter, right? But I, I think always... yeah, it was, it was really, to me, it was, it was very interesting overall. Yeah. I was uh, interested to hear your perspective, which is very much in line with what I was thinking. <laughs> Hola. Yeah. So, thank you so much once again. Uh, I'm so glad that we managed to work out the time. And yeah.